Hello, fourth graders. Welcome to math class. Uh, we're going to start off today with our exit ticket as usual, but there is a, a one thing I want you to uh, do before we get started today. So when you have this out in front of you, I want you to take a look at this last part of the sentence. It says, Molly's photo album has 97 pictures. Each page of the album holds six pictures. How many pages can Molly fill? Will there be any pictures left? If so, how many? It says use place value this to solve. I want you to cross that out. I want you to use the standard algorithm, okay? So the normal method, okay? Normal method, okay? Standard algorithm to do that, all right? So the normal long division method that you're going to do, okay? The bottom one, again, you will, uh, it's, it's a word problem that you'll have to read on your own and I want you to uh, tell me if you agree or disagree and prove it, okay? Just do your best with that. As usual, what we want you to do is do your best on this. We want you to give maximum effort, um, do the things that you can do that you feel comfortable with, but uh, do something, all right? Make sure that you write down something that you uh, use some logic behind your reasoning and go from there. And then right afterwards, we're going to uh, go over this and um, make sure that you did what you're supposed to do, all right? Well, good luck, you got five minutes. Teachers, pause now. Okay, there is your five minutes. So hopefully you did okay. Um, as teachers walked around the room, I hope that you helped out when you could and, and that you feel better about it. So let's take a look at the first problem. We already read this first problem. We, we decided that it was, uh, it was a division and we decided not to use a place value disk to solve, but just a normal uh, standard algorithm. So this is what we did. 97 divided by six. So what we came up with, let me zoom in a little bit here for you, okay? Uh, 97 divided by 6. 6 fits into 9 one time. 1 times 6 is 6. I subtract it, I get 3. Then what we did is move on to the 1's place. We had to move this 7 down to make 37 ones. So 6 fits into 37 6 times, because 6 times 6 is 36. Then I subtract, I get 1. So I had 16 remainder 1. So the question here says, how many pages can Molly fill? Molly will fill 16 pages. See, I, I restated the question and answered it with a capital letter and a period at the end. And then it says, will there be any pictures left? If so, how many? I took those two questions, just made one complete sentence out of it. I basically answered the question with one sentence. She will have one picture left over, all right? So she'll fill 16 pages and have one page left over. So that was that. Hopefully you did the same. Now the bottom. Now the bottom says, uh, Marty's photo album has, has a total of 45 pictures, period, stop. Okay, each page holds four pictures. All right, so each page holds four pictures. So she can put four pictures on each page. She said she can only fill 10 pages completely. Do you agree? Explain why or why not? Well, in my head, be honest with you, what I did was four times 10 was 40. And I knew that she could get another complete page. So what I did is I proved it by division. I said 45 divided by four, okay, that would be 11 remainder one. All right, so I wrote down here is I disagree with Marty. She'll be able to fill 11 pages completely because 45 divided by four equals 11 remainder one. So that 11 is our quotient that she'll be able to fill 11 pages. And you think about it, 11 times four is 44 and that's under 45, so she'll be able to fill up 10 pages completely, all right? Great, well, I hope your brains are all warmed up and ready to go because we're going to do our I can statement next and jump into our problem set, all right? All right, I'll see you in a bit.